everybody, welcome back to the stream and welcome back to the channel. Um, let's just, let's get into this. We know how YouTube works, there's really not much of an introduction. Most of the time you just kind of go right into it. Uh, for those that are watching, we're going to be discussing today the videos that we went through this week. So, any feedback, thoughts on any of the content that's gone up this week. We actually had a video yesterday that went up already, talking about how you can improve your aim. Just across the board, and that one's already taking off, so... Definitely recommend checking that one out. Um, loading up Apex here. I haven't really warmed up, as per usual. So I'm gonna do a quick warm up in game. I'm gonna chat with you guys throughout the whole process. Today we're you know we're just gonna chill. We're gonna vibe. We're gonna talk about how you get better. Um, thoughts, questions, concerns. I'm loading up chat as we speak right now. Hey, and tomorrow, dude. I think you're first today. Holy crap! Let's go, man. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let me actually tweet out the stream. Two seconds. That will tab up. Up here. Let's see here. Up here. Don't forget to leave a like. Yo, Mr. Boy, what's up, dude? We're just getting started. We're literally just starting. It's beginning of the stream today. I'm literally just tweeting everything out. Because that's how everything works. Because you don't get a link until after you go live, which is fine. To here all right I'm, I'm ready I hope you guys are ready let's talk about this week let me uh, actually one last thing let me get a chat here that off let's switch this scene let's go here here boom actually I need to adjust the uh, did I mess with this yeah put it at native I don't want native so that's gonna mess up the screen take a look make sure that it's sitting right yep looks right that's good Good, it's progress. What's up? So how's everyone doing this week? Sunday. You know, honestly, the videos have been popping up. I was like, should I stream today? Are people going to want to watch the stream today? Because yesterday's video is doing really well. And I was like, I hope that doesn't boost out the algorithm or anything. Yo, Kaiser, what's up, dude? Master rank, I know. I hit it this week. Tyler E, what's going on? Timinic, hello there. Zapdos, good to see you. It's crazy. Kaiser, I can't believe we actually hit Masters actually blown away by that that's actually i don't know there was one night i was just i was the aim was just on point and i was like you know what we're gonna go for it we're gonna we're gonna do it my chat isn't loading on my other monitor give me a second i know it's a little laggy on screen just need two seconds it was only a matter of time this is true we we're gonna get there at some point right kaiser You're up next, man. When are you when are you hitting Masters? I know you're gonna hit it. I just I saw your clips that you posted yesterday. Those were insane, dude. Oh, there we go. I accidentally almost hit report on my own chat. Fun. God, I can't believe this guy's streaming. Can't wait to report him. There we go. All right, that took me a few more seconds than usual to get the chat up. Yeah, we've been grinding the aim. We've been good. We've been good. So I reached diamond with random. So if I play with a team, I'll get higher than diamond. Yeah, most likely. And you can solo queue it, but it's kind of dreadful in a way, you know? I don't know if it's necessarily fun. Two seconds. Hold on. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, let's just let's queue up. I'm gonna hop in the test range initially. If you're ever trying to work and improve on Apex, sometimes you just need to honestly hop in the test range and get the blood flowing. You know, a push I just have to work on with clicking. Clicking is honestly the hardest one. Have you tried aim beast? Seems sick. And since you tried so many trainers, thought it'd be a good option. I, you know, honestly, I'm probably gonna do a video on it. I think I replied to your comment, didn't I? Is it free? I love how your name on the bottom right changes. This bug is so interesting. My name right now is Evade Rex. I have no idea who that is. Is it normal to wrist aim at 800 DPI and 1.51 in game? Yes. You're kind of forced to when you hit micro shots. So based on the video that I posted yesterday, you're definitely going to 
end up running into hitting uh, small shots. Good to be back. Just need to warm up a little bit. It's five dollars now. Still buy it. Review it. Doesn't matter if it costs a little bit of money. Hopefully, it's good. If it's not, then I guess we'll we'll hear about it, right? But yeah, I'm happy when progress in game, huge difference from a year ago. You know, it's, it is crazy to think about when you look at your footage from like a year ago to like where you're at now, there is a difference. It may be hard to see. But yeah. I mean, you know what's crazy? When you post highlights, sometimes you have to remember that those are your best moments. So sometimes you can get lucky and just absolutely pop off and get, and looks like you have not changed or improved. But when you look at your overall aim and gameplay that's when it makes a huge difference right and of course you can't really ever notice your own progress yo and tomorrow since 2017 since the battlefield one days right is that is that when you started watching when we were playing battlefield one and we were grinding for rank one sniper like i don't even know like it's obvious I've improved since I've hit Masters, but it's kind of hard to, to tell, even, you know? All I see is still flaws occasionally. I'm like, oh, man. We're squatting up day one BF6. I mean, I'm down. What's up, Ultron? It's good to see you, man. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the stream, dude. Just trying to warm up right now. I'm a little slow right now, but it's not awful. I just need to... You're ever looking for ways to warm up, pop some music in, relax, breathe, uh, get the blood flowing, get going, and then, you know, hop in game and you're good to go at that point. But I'm doing good, Ultron. What, what's going on today? How's your Sunday going, buddy? Just so you know, the interesting part, I, I don't know if pe people, how many people are going to watch a live stream, but I'm actually using the regular G Pro Wireless today. The last few, uh, about a week... Like, I, I used the old G Pro, and all of a sudden, my score started popping off after using the Super Light. It's kind of weird. So I switched back for a little bit, and I don't know. I mean, it is a mouse that I've used more than others, obviously. I'm going to keep switching between them and see if the Super Light really sticks. It stuck for the longest time. It wasn't getting me higher scores, but then all of a sudden, it just wasn't. Yo, Faker, what's up, dude? Stick with it. Stick with the uh, aim training and practicing. Because if that's what you mean. Agreed. I've noticed that it become much more precise, smooth the last two months, and I went from bronze to gold in the Voltaic. It feels it shows there 100%. That's why it's good to benchmark yourself so you know how to practice and improve. Here's, here's the biggest thing. If you are playing a game like Apex with skill-based matchmaking, if you improve, sometimes you can't notice because the players you're facing over time are getting better. And sometimes when that happens, it can be very discouraging when there's skill-based matchmaking to really feel like you're making progress. And I see that all the time in the comment section. I really feel like you guys have to remember that because it can be incredibly discouraging. I wonder how, mu how much time you spend to get 3,000 Arangelic. You know, that one actually came really fast compared to the others. I want to say it took me about a day on Arangelic. I mean, what I did when I kept practicing, is I switched between all the scenarios. Once I noticed I started making massive improvements, I stuck to that scenario for the remainder of that day and some to just kind of grinded it out. Like what happened when I hit static shots, all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, I, I understand it. Something's clicking and I just kept pushing through and then it just it just happened. But if, if, the, if the day when I'm trying to grind that scenario just isn't working and I'm just kind of stagnating, I don't stay on that one. I switch to a different scenario and keep practicing and improving. And I switch it up or I'll try to force it by changing up mice, mice pads, 
um, or I'll switch to a different sensitivity temporarily and I'll switch back to my old sensitivity and seeing how it pans out from there. That's usually what I'll do if I plateau and I get stuck. Probably the best advice I think most anybody can give if you plateau, switch to something else. So if you are stuck on Air Angelic, go do Smooth Bot or Static or uh, Pat Target. Switch around for a little bit. Or if you're just stuck across the board, switch mouse pads. Switch some other variable. I'm stuck on plat two, three to four. I'm not sure what I need to focus on to improve. Mostly around that MMR, it's going to be your positioning. Focus on your positioning first and foremost. Your aim will carry you. But here's a great example. Somebody in the comment section was talking about this. If you are facing somebody at 1v1 and there's two people, and let's say his buddy is like in the back about to snipe you, and you manage to kill this guy, you're probably still going to die because this other guy is going to do damage to you. The smarter way, obviously, is to take it and then kind of back out and reposition and use angles. You know, that's the best thing that you can really do. Because most people, the issue is they say, well, I went into the fight and, I, and I, I did so much damage and then I died. Well, of course you died. The issue is that you uh, obviously have to re... <laughs> you're, right, you're right on the open, so well, you can't really expect to survive in that encounter, which we'll showcase in a minute. O honestly, somebody in the comment section did ask me to play Octane. So I'm going to probably play him a little bit in pubs and showcase that... He's pretty, he's pretty easy um, and manageable. I did put out a guide on him, but I'll show you pretty much in practice like how you want to move around and manage yourself as Octane. It's why I feel I'm successful as a Watson is because I focused on movement. Um, there's always room for improvement, of course, but nonetheless, you know. Yeah, of course, there he is. It's boss guy. What's up, man? Yeah. I have a first question. Hope you can help me. When I shoot at someone at Apex, I can't see through the weapon like if the flash and shot make me blind. That's the hardest part. When you aim train, obviously you got nothing in front of you. You really, if you can drop any graphics settings, I would drop graphics graphics settings. You also have the option of just understanding where your crosshair placement is and where you can go from there. <laughs> that was a cat trying to eat old food. <laughs> Finn Battlefield live streaming. What's up? What's up, man? It's good to see you. I changed my mouse grip because your guide, your channel's so good, man. I, well, it's good to hear. I changed my grip style over the years as well. <laughs> Little things. I went from palm, initially, to fingertip, where I had three fingers up top. Then I moved it to a normal stance. Then I switched it over to this, where I have both mi middle and index finger on the left mouse click. Just kind of found more stability that way. So over the course of the years, my grip style has evolved and changed to what feels comfortable and what works. Dude, Ultra on the Voltaic scenarios are great. Also, Ultra, and check out the video yesterday. That one's really going to kick you in the butt. That that scenario list is even challenging for me, dude. It makes me feel like I haven't improved at all. Just because it's so ridiculously hard. Yo, Nihon, what's up? What's up, man? What do you use for crouch? I use side button and I spam it. I use uh, C and, and Z. All right, I'm um, ready. If you ever want to get better at Apex, just drop hot. Right now, we're kind of dropping semi-safe, but look at that. Look at that over there. See that? There's like a million people. So how do you steal loot as Octane whenever you drop an Apex? Stim up and run around and steal everything. That's how you do it. He's probably the legend that is best to start off with just because he's got the improved movement speed. And if there's no loot, then I guess you're kind of screwed. Like so. Will Fuse be OP? Oh, here's, we'll see. I'm a little worried about it, but we'll see. I haven't gotten a chance to uh, take a look at him or try him, but based on what I'm seeing on the trailers, I don't know. Hoping he's fun, you know? Hope he shakes things up, makes things interesting. That's the hope. I'll put out a guide day one about him though, for sure. I uh, When the new season drops, I'll put out a season pass, a guide on the new 3030 since they kind of teased that, uh, fuse, all of it will probably come out day one. So on February 2nd, expect a spam of videos coming out. Just FYI, I'll be grinding that out. Let's see this guy in the open. 
Wow. I didn't leave far enough. So if I'm going to stim, I'm going to reposition or try to get ahead or catch up. One of the two. Most would want to put their jump pad here. There's no reason to. It's just going to make you an easy target. Unless you're doing it to take height, which I'll do right here. Oh my gosh, I pay good. I should have done way better. Daz, in your recent video, you said it took you a year to get Mashins. We'll take. I feel like you should have said that isn't the case for everyone. I mean, I guess if I suck, I don't know. <laughs> I really pepegged that. The positioning was fine. I had to jump on him. I in that situation, I mean, he was climbing. I should have should have won, but I I just sucked. I'm still warming up. Oh wow! Hello. Nice. Who's got the self revive? Hey, what's up, man? It's good to see you. I don't know if I'm gonna get a res. Am I getting a res? Thank you, buddy. Or just bait. But whichever works. Or at least they saved my butt. I appreciate it. Yo, shout out to India. It's good to have you here, man. I love the diversity that we always bring in chat, man. Seriously. A little three light. There's another guy in the area. It's got to be. Who are you guys talking about? Selly? For me. I might have missed uh, a chat. I apologize. I don't need elk accelerants whatsoever. I'm just gonna hold him for the Watson. Are the panda switches? They're really good. The holy pandas, really, really good. I really like them. I am actually thoroughly impressed with this keyboard. At this point, you would use the jump pad to get on the roof, reposition. One ran, okay. Did he shoot out the other guy? Where the heck is the other guy? If you're not careful though, that can really, oh there he is. It can really screw you up though. So just be careful in terms of positioning with Auk, the dock. Bro, he's top number one in the hardest scenario. Have you seen him? Who, who, who are you talking about? Was it Selly? Dude, there's a lot of amazing aimers on Kovacs though. Oh shoot. I screwed up, I screwed up, I screwed up, I get it, I get it. They were literally waiting. I'm gonna let my HP kinda, kinda heal me up. I'll just wait a little patiently here. I feel like age and FPS backer won't have taken back and considered, but a match complete in a year and a half isn't that good? No. Nah. No, I, I kind of have 100% agree. It's definitely taking me a lot of time. Come on, come on. That's crazy. Yeah, I got to check Sully out then. I mean, any amount of time, doesn't matter how long you get there, but once you get there, at least you have it mechanically, you know? This is the best way to look at it. I'm push up. Sometimes if you have years and years of bad habits, it can take you even longer. Poor guy. This is a moment to jump pad in. GG.
You know, I'm going to take that Mastiff. Because I have barely any ammo on the other thing. And there's a guy rezzing near us. Sell up. What's the nurse of practicing Kovacs? The, the video I put it yesterday is one I definitely recommend checking out. It's I, I actually went through a pretty in-depth video on scenarios. To, oh my god, we're getting shot in the back. Love it. Position. Cracked him. Could use the jump pad as like a block in the door. I'm gonna hold for now. I'm gonna get the banner. He doesn't have any heals, but I can swap. Shoot. Duck and weave, duck and weave. Not good for a jump pad. He'll just make it easier for him to hit me right here. Dude. I could take height back by taking the jump pad up top. I don't know if I'm going to do that. There's too many people, too many different angles. Could climb height here, take an off angle. Oh, okay. Hello. Cracked him. That works. Chill for a second. And cam, please. I think it definitely can reset it up. Cracked him. Nice. Good job. Good job. Taking the red. Sorry, buddy. I'm totally resin this guy here. Oh, shoot. Get at what the? F That's instantaneous. Since when? That's crazy. I don't remember being that fast, dude. That's crazy. A actually, actually insane. Use a jump pad to try to get an off angle over here. I'm gonna try. I'll see. Oh, ah. Worked. Rack two. Let's go. So when you're playing Ock, you really just the more off angles you take, the better you're gonna be with him. Take high. Take take the weird angles. Most Ox don't do that though, which is the bad part. I think they dropped. Really? Shoot. What the? F Bro. I don't play with G-Sync or FreeSync. No. Oh, shoot. Good nade, dude. Okay. They're gonna push, man. Shoot. Oh, okay. GG's. That wasn't bad. I mean, we held our own for a long time. I screwed up when I went up top and I got hit too many times. And then I was like, they're going to push. I mean, I called that they were going to push. So, this is what it is. Guy needs to heal. Swap on the ground. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I can't believe you made that. It's close. Literally close. Let me catch up a chat here in a second when we load into the next round. I want to see if this guy can clutch it out. He's pretty close. Bro, we were fighting so long here. Yeah, where you succeed with Octrain, it's just being smart with off angles and not 
But the issue, the links in the description are not working. Which ones do I have in the description? Oh, uh, you know, I, 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 can, I think I know what probably happen with that. I'm sorry. Oh, you, you know, uh, is, Fr is Fresky still in here? Do you play with viewers, Daz? Members who are members of the channel. Yes. Hey man, love your videos. Dude, is Fresky still in here? I, I guess I have a follow-up to that. Technically, I focus more on aim training because I, I lack... Ex I Technically, when I started gaming, taking it seriously, I played a lot of MMOs first. I didn't play shooters starting off. I did play like Battlefield 1942 and Vietnam way back in the day, but I never played it seriously. Um, I've never played CSGO. I don't have any CSGO experience. Uh, I think maybe I have like five hours in it and that was messing around with CSGO bots. Maybe, maybe that long, not even. Um, so a lot of what I built happens to be in Ape uh, Battlefield and Apex Legends. I started taking first person shooters seriously around Battlefield 4, which I did a lot of sniping in, which I feel very confident that a lot of my sniping is pretty uncontested. But all I did between year one, two, and almost two and a half is all I did was spend it sniping. I, letter I literally never used an assault rifle or any other gun, essentially. Which is why, obviously, when you see me snipe, there's a level of confidence there. And then I would focus, I focused heavily and I realized, hey, I gotta branch out. I, got I gotta get better. Like, this is all I can do. I started aim training and trying to catch up, essentially. So I've had to catch up against pros who have like 4,000 hours plus in CSGO and kind of, you know, branching it out and growing from there, you know? That's been the approach I've had to take. This guy's position is pretty good. It's not bad. I mean, fortunately he didn't win the fight, but he did pretty good. How dare me? How dare me? And he says for Lockdown, I used to play good with her, but I'm terrible with her. You might be put into a different bracket of skill-based matchmaking. It's probably part of the issue. But yeah, you do have to take in consideration how long they're playing first-person shooters. What games did they play in terms of first-person shooters? Where are they at currently? The amount of time invested? Are they a professional? Are they not a professional? Um, you know, that's it's all taken into consideration. I don't know if that one guy uh, fr f is Fresky, right? You're still. Okay. EST? Yeah, I'm EST. An Apex movement is so important. I just aim, but aim training every day. Yeah, 100%. Movement really matters. Yeah, I'll be streaming uh, ALGS next week. I should. I mean, if, I'm sure I'll get invited again. I was invited to shoutcast APAC North and South. So it's assuming I'll be shoutcasting it this coming week. Technically, in comparison to a lot of the Apex pros and where I'm at, I think I'm in a pretty good spot. I'm about 2,000 hours short where I should be. And then most pros are around 3 to 4k hours. I think I'm about 1.8, 1.9, somewhere around there. The most amount of hours I've ever had in a first-person shooter was Battlefield 1. That was 2,400. But again, I, I mostly sniped, so that's one thing to consider. Yeah, I have uh, several videos of movement. Uh, bunny hopping, basic movement, and uh, what other one do I have? Wall bouncing. ALGS, it, I think they should be... It's next week. I will have times and I'll post it on Twitter for when I'm shoutcasting APAC. Any tips for new players? Drop hot. Just make mistakes so then you can learn. If you play too safe and too timidly, you're never going to learn. So drop hot, play aggressive, get aggro. Hopping in there, have fun. And if you get too nervous, keep doing it until you don't get nervous. Until it, until it doesn't matter. Shoot. 
Hang up. I was going to swap just to be safe, but that works. Alright, good. Yeah, somebody asked me to play Oc, uh, Octane for a little bit for today. Just because I put a guide on him. And I just kind of want to show him off in real time. He's a legend I barely use, but I know how to play at least. Alright, we're good. Yo, what's up, nuts? What kind of nuts? The good kind. Almond? Flavored? Who knows? I don't know. What do you think about res? I haven't tried it, actually. And no worries, Alexandra. I appreciate you for being here, buddy. How's your how's your main legend? Uh pretty good. I usually play in pubs, I will play Watson and Horizon. When I'm playing ranked and I take it seriously, which I haven't played ranked in a hot second. I've mostly been just chilling, vibing, game training, making content. Uh also because I'm probably gonna be shout casting events, so I kinda shifted the focus a little bit. Hey, got bad guys over there. Most people would take a jump padded situation. It's pretty predictable to jump a take a jump pad, so I'm gonna take an off angle. Until I find the right moment to do the jump pad. Instead of just YOLOing in. Unless I still get pushed. These guys are kind of annoying. They're kind of accurate too. Okay. Funny hot. Make it a little difficult for him to hit me. Reposition. I think this is three though. We might lose this. Hear them. Shoot. Hello. I kind of pick that. It's fine. That was the last of that squad. Using me. I'm healing up. Do you see how I use the jump pad for a uh, major off angle in comparison to just like I guess anything else? I didn't use it to go for the initial push and just take meaningless damage. I used it to get around and jump around so as he was fighting if he lost his fight. The other guy would wonder where I was at and I would be right here. Pretty much you're, you're using the jump pad to skip animations. That's probably the best thing you can do. Shotgun bolts. And tips for a console guide. I would say it's... Oh, there's one right there. The, the tips for PC are similar to to console. Um, and, and I remember I was talking with a good friend. His name is Pyramid. He came from console. And the tips set for PC apply over to console in terms of positioning. It's all the same. Is it good to stim strafe? Yeah, you get better or faster movement speed. The downside, if you're trying to do it mid-fight and mid-encounter, is that you're going to get yourself killed because you're doing extra damage to yourself. So if you're going to do it, try to do it preemptively. Don't try to stim and waste the animation and just get shot more, you know? Oh shoot, I mean to jump out. Accident. Sorry. Here, get back on. I'm sorry. We'll be here. Because I know up top probably has people, but I don't want to get fried. Then we got the care package nearby, so that's helpful. Honestly, I need to take that. I don't have enough ammo for energy here. Not enough to justify it. Barely any attachments. I'll take that. Uh, Well, my should I have when improving my aim? Unintended. Hold on one second, one second. Shoot. Oh my god, I can't believe I put Peg it that hard. Oof. Try to catch up. Wasn't paying attention for a second. There we go, that's better. That's better spray. Probably on my left right here. Shoot. It's back. Yo, let's back, let's back. There's another team right behind us.
he takes the jump pad, he's going to be really dumb for doing it. Got a swap, nice. Get on him. What? Oh wow, that's a crappy arc star. Can you teach crouch fam? 100% man. Oh, shoot. Hold on, hold on. I mean, I'm kind of doing it right now. I use toggle. Oh shoot, that was really bad. Hello. Guy underneath me. I can probably push a little bit. Oh shoot, hello. There we go, that was a good spray. Nice. Can you swap? Whoop. Oh, hello. I'm going through, going through. Ha! Block the door. That's how you big brain it, baby. There you go. See that? Look at that. It screwed him up. You gotta, you gotta big brain it, man. Ooh, let's go. Clean. I need that gold now. Cool. Tap strafe, or a little bit. i make it harder for him to hit me for a second while I heal. There we go. Okay. We're back. Oh my god, dude. We get it. You're talented. A lot of crazy aimers in Apex, dude. It's a full team. Need to get some cells. He didn't laugh at my pun. I guess I didn't get it. I'm so sorry. I'm not, I'm not a very smart man. I'm not very smart. Where's the boxes, dude? Attention. There is a new kill leader. Cells. New kill leader. Show off. Waiting for the other team to jump on us. It'll be fun. Enemy spotted over there. We get up. I think we can sneak it. Shoot, watch out, watch out. Oh my god, dude. Back we go. Oh my god. Oh, darn it, dude. I say re send it up. I'm dead. What mindset should I have when aiming to improve? Ha, I get it. That's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't read it right the first time. I think this goes on the gunfight. Mindset. Just chill. Relaxation. The best thing you do is have relaxation and be in a just a good positive mindset. Quite literally. Literally, that's the best thing I can describe. Blitz, what's up, dude? The Oryx plays. What's up, man? Alright, let's do this. Who have 144 has an advantage for the U60 hertz, in my opinion. And um, later on, yes. Initially, no. Initially, uh, if both players don't know how to aim, the person who knows how to aim is going to do better. Your sense changed on 720p to 1080p. What you see around you will change, but your inches per 360, no, it does not change. It still takes the same amount of distance going back and forth if you change resolutions. You'll just see more around you because uh, there's more pixels. What do you think is better, Kovacs or Aim Labs for faster aim improvement? If you don't know what you're doing, Start with aim labs. Kovacs is really overwhelming. It makes no sense if you've never seen a name trainer before. Harder, it just looks really weird. It just doesn't make any sense. Have you used one of them before? Uh, yeah, and I, I use Kovacs. I've, I actually use it both. I've used both aim labs and Kovacs. I use heavy artillery. Improvements happen slowly. I'm a, a new sub here. Do you just play Apex? I aim train and play Apex, yeah. Do both. Wrong with your head if you fight. I do both. 
but yeah, just get comfortable with either aim trainer. I mean, it, it, aim labs is free, so it's a great one to start with. You can't beat free, especially if you're trying to figure things out. Don't waste money at the start, you know? And literally the biggest tip when you're practicing, just chill, relax. Is there anywhere you can record your games to improve? I use uh, Shadow Play. I'm recording right now. I record all my gameplay. Oh my god, this is gonna suck. I'll stim after. Just because I'm not gonna have any HP. Bloodhounds. It's another one. Here we go. I got you. I got you, buddy. I also appreciate the compliment, man. They're coming. Oh. Uh, here's the Phoenix right here. Phoenix. I'm gonna go up. Off angle. Remember what I said? Octane off angles. The inside. Nice. Get that before drops. Made it. Let's go, dude. GG's. That was a hot drop. I still made it out. Let's go. What the? Oh, crap, dude. There we go. I should stop that. That was... <laughs> that was shocking. Jesus. What was he doing there? Crap. It's another team. He's taking height. And we'll bounce properly. Ooh, get laser, buddy. Shoot. Come on. Crawl back, crawl back. Nice, nice, nice. We got two teams, two teams. One's knocked on the over left. Zoc train is pushing. Oh, dude, that's close. We got him, though. GG's, GG's. That was good. That was still fun. Literally non-stop fighting this bot, dude. I'm installing Steam for Aim Labs right now. Nice, nice. I use palm grip with, with wrist aim. I can't really use my finger so far, recoil control. Should I use my arm or my wrist? You're gonna be forced to use both, depending on your sensitivity. Um, initially, probably gonna feel more comfortable using your arm and then you can kind of use more of your fingers and your wrist. I wouldn't just use your wrist specifically because you're gonna tire it out and it's gonna hurt over time. If it doesn't hurt now, when you get older, it'll hurt later. What's your mouse grip? I use fingertip. Fingertip. And then I engage my arm and I engage my wrist. Yo, what's up, Eddie? B Daz, big fan. Are you really? I didn't know that you were a fan, dude. I, I, you know, I thought you could only buy those at Best Buy. What resolution are you using right now? I'm using uh, 16 by 10. <laughs> How to get maximum damage using massive. Aim for the body. Don't aim for the head. All right, this guy took, uh, took Auk from me. So hopefully that's helpful. 
by the way. I hope I hope that's that's helpful in terms of how you learn Octane. He's actually really fun. He really is. In terms of his positioning, what he does, he really is a lot of fun. I don't know if Boss Guy is still here. I know he was mentioned that. What is your preferred loadout? Having a sniper than some sort of AR or shotgun. This is OP. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna go hot. I've underestimated how good Octane and how much fun he can be, to be honest. He's just like a good solo legend to just have fun with, you know, when you're just vibing. Are we with us? Come right here. Hey, look, a shotgun. Take that alternator. Server's laggy or am I laggy? Can't tell. Be both. From Brazil, your channel is well commented here. Hey, I appreciate it though, man. I'm excited. The channel's been growing at such a great rate recently. It's probably the most growth I've seen in a while. I got a flank. I didn't know there was another one close by. My bad. Got him. Woo, let's go. I shouldn't have missed those two shots, but you know, I'll take it. Oh, don't take my my two before. Don't take my two before. Thank you. Precious. The energy, there's heavy. You know, I'm gonna take the uh other gun, let's see here. Oh wait, no, 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 no. There we go. I just can't believe how long that took me to do. It's crazy. Yo, Pedro, what's going on, man? Greetings from Argentina. Wow, we have a lot of people from all around the world here today. What's going on, man? Is it late there right now? Early? What, what time is it there? Dubs, what's up, JDs? Good to see you. What's up, man? Remember to only use your abilities in Apex when you absolutely need to, or to take a different angle, or to gain a power position. Don't spam them just to spam them, especially when you're playing like Gibraltar. If you're just spamming your bubble just to spam it, once it's gone, it's gone, you know? Just got a 16 kill game, thanks for the tips. No worries, man. Good. Glad the tips are helping. I gotta stop giving out so many tips, you guys are gonna make the game too hard for me. I'm gonna start sucking and then I can't do any content, right? I'm just kidding. I mean, you guys will probably surpass I me. Mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens, right? <laughs> There's shots over here. Where are my teammates? Faster, faster, faster. I have to chill. I have to wait. I don't want to wait. Please stop looting. Let's go. Favorite Horizon skin? I think the uh, Terra Nova. I don't have it, though. I purchased the other one instead, and I was like, I instantly regretted it. Push in. It's 8.30 p.m. in Egypt. Nice. Just heard somebody. 
Maybe not. Did I hear something? I've been looking this whole time, there's nobody here, I guess. And we should go over to, um... Nothing but snipers in the center here. Ooh, look at all the boxes. Oh my! George Decay? Did I say Decay? 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 He's decaying. I'm gonna use, let's use the two by, one by two. I actually have started to grow pretty partial of the one by two, for some reason. Where the heck are they? It says there's 10, 10 squads, but I don't believe it. There's a zip here. Interesting. What's your DPI 800? Yo, your aim video has been getting me into working my aim more and more. I've been helping a lot. Keep it up. Appreciate you, Jelly. Appreciate you, man. It's always good to hear. Good to hear that things are helping. Hey, thank you, Hunter. Appreciate it, man. There they are. Yo, Amir, what's up, man? Is 1080p 27 inch at 144 hertz good? Yeah, I, would, I would say get a 24 inch if possible. The reason why is that it looks better. It, images don't look as stretched. Like 1440p looks better at 27 inches. 1440p looks better at 24. And 4K looks better at 32. Yeah, 32. It's just the way the pixels line up. It just looks clear. It may look a little pixelated at times, but I mean, I don't know. If you can pick it up, you can pick it up. For me, I, I, I notice it and it, it bothers me. What uh, are most useful dual weapons in Apex you know? You can do R99 or Wingman R99, triple take shotgun or Mastiff. You can do a flat line and some sort of shotgun. Usually you pair any sort of single tap weapon with some sort of full auto. I wouldn't really do like, I mean, Wingman Mastiff works too, but you got to remember that there's a lot of single shot potential there. One for mid range, more for close range. You're mostly pairing any sort of weapon from mid range to close range together and making sure not to overload too much single shot or too much automatic. Like running an R301 and R99 is most of the time not necessarily good. I think I saw them on the left. And that's because, what the heck? Oh, they went inside, they jumped down. And the reason why you don't want to run that is that you run into an issue where if you, let's say you get into a Gibraltar bubble fight, right? If you get into a Gibraltar bubble fight and you're having an R99 and R301 and they have a Mastiff, you're going to lose no matter how good of a player you are. Unless you just perfectly duck and weave, but the other individual should beat you. Like right now I have triple take flatline, but the triple take kind of works like a shotgun. But if this was ranked, I would need to be careful getting into a Gibby Bubble fight. I would need to pull up my triple take and rely on that because it has more burst damage and single shot potential. Where the heck is this team, dude? See anything, dude? Oh, shoot, grenade. Oh, okay. Hello. Thank you. 
Kovacs scenarios versus Aim Lab scenarios. Kovacs has a lot more diversity. Uh, Aim Labs has a little more creativity in terms of what they provide. That grenade was so perfectly timed on it. That foot, I just, I was like, I'm dead. GG's, it's been fun. So many boxes here, dude. Holy. I really should get rid of the uh, R3 or the flatline for that shotgun. Uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna. I really don't need anything. I'm just looting for the sake of looting. I need nades, actually, nades. 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 There they are. Mm. Fine. How should you position your controller or mouse when controlling recoil of the R the flat line? It's better to kind of keep it right around neck to high chest level so the recoil kind of kicks up for you. It's going to be your best bet. And of course, if you're hip firing, you just want to go for pretty much the chest because the spread is just too ridiculous. Not that it, it's not that it's hard to control. It just spikes everywhere. Random. It's just random, you know? Does Osu help aim? Yeah, everything. If you're learning better mouse control and you're strengthening your, your hand and yeah, every, every little bit will help. Now, maybe something else will help faster than that. It's subjective, you know? But yeah, technically. Do you use Osu for aiming? I have played it. I didn't personally, I guess, like it the most. It's not bad. I just, just I prefer aim training, like aim tra actual aim training scenarios. It just depends what excites you or what gets you comfortable, you know? This is a ballsy move, taking this. I could literally be shot right now. Yeah, of course, John. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, John. It's good to have you here. Let's, um... I hear them around the corner. I think they're over by Solar Array. Your package on the left. There's definitely solar array. Yep. Oop. Thanks. Pure brilliant that is. A lot of damage in, nice. How do you check the ranks in Kovex? Uh, you do that with the benchmarks from Voltaic and compare your scores in like a Excel document or by writing them down somewhere. That's how you compare how you're doing based on the six scenar or the scenarios that they provide from each category. There's six different categories and within each category there's three different scenarios that you can parse or benchmark yourself. There's team one over here on the right somewhere, I don't know where. I feel like we're about to get shot in between both of them. Oh, those hooligans are down for the count. What's the best partner for Horizon and pubs? Probably Ray. Or Gibby. I mean, you could kind of run anything in pubs, to be fair. Literally. Not like, not even kidding. Because in pubs, it's mostly just about positioning. Not with this. Where did this other team go? There was another team over here. I think they full rotated in. It's only one squad. Maybe he's a rat? The rat. Da, da, da. Why do some pro players use headphones instead of a good headset? Because headphones help to kick up the bass. Like really good head, like ones that you put directly in your ear, it's easier to hear footsteps. If you're using a headset, sometimes it's harder to hear the small footsteps from a distance. It just picks up sound differently. Pretty much it. And sometimes maybe they just feel more comfortable using it. Oh, shoot. Good job. Nice. 
ducking and weaving from up above it was interesting. How do I learn to stop unnecessarily crouch spamming when in close gunfight? I would just practice just in general just shooting and moving around like in the test range and getting used to where the movement matches your aim. That's going to be your best bet, man. Like even like when I'm in that counter, like up in the air, like there's a moment where you need to have accuracy and a moment where you need to keep strafing. If you just keep spamming the crouch too much, you're going to lower your accuracy. So you got to find the, the sweet spot, right? I'll play uh, Auk again. I don't know. I was having fun using him for some reason. It's pretty fun. Any tips for the Mastiff? I personally hate the thing unless you're on controller. It seems RNG. You gotta, you gotta aim for for the chest, dude. It goes against pretty much everything you think about in terms of aiming and practicing like aim training. Don't go for the head. Remember that naturally the way a, a human being is shaped is that they're run, you know, the chest and everything, they're wider. Their head is gonna be small. And the Mastiff shoots its, its bullets as a complete horizontal shot. If you aim for the head, unless you're like right on top of them, ready to execute them or something, uh, you're probably going to want to aim for the chest. Because the bullets that surround the, the, the Mastiff are going to go around the target, even if you hit them dead on. Which is why you hit a lot of 13s and so forth. You need to remember that it's one big horizontal sp space, so you want to aim center mass on your target with the Mastiff. Otherwise, you're going to miss. You get to count for a little bit of latency, though. With the Mastiff, because the bullet's a little slow, people are a little delayed, so you have to understand that that can happen a lot too. Mastiff triple take is okay, yeah, it's like running two shotguns, it's so broken. Footsteps, what footsteps? I can't hear Jack this season, right? That's why they that's why they wear headphones, or they wear the, I mean, they try, they'll still complain about it, because it's not there. How do I learn to stop? Oh, I already answered that, okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go. I have screen tearing. And it turns double buffing on. Also, any suggestions? What are you using? A 60 hertz monitor, by chance? If you're using a 60 hertz monitor, then you're going to have screen tearing. If you get a higher hertz monitor, you shouldn't run into the issue as much. All right, I'm going to run two single shot. Probably not. This is an ideal setup, but I'll run it for the memes. I heard the audio over on the far left, but I think it's in the building. How did I miss that, dude? Looked like it was dead on him for a second. Bro. Of course, of course a Mastiff. Why would he have a Mastiff, dude? That's crazy. That's what I'm talking about. That's why the Mastiff's so good. Like, even if I landed both those shots, I still would've died. Because he had a Mastiff. Once he, once he got the first shot, I needed to back out. I was just kind of confident that he wasn't going to land his shots, but then he just did. I don't know. Feels bad, dude. These guys get me. How to manage your bags. You know, actually, no, Coco actually is a really great tutorial on bags, uh, bag inventory space, but just to kind of cover it briefly while waiting for these guys to see if they'll get my banner, is to have, try not to have an abundance amount of, hold on, abundance amount of ammo. Try to at least have two nades, uh, eight cells, four syringes, and kind of you, you scale it and you get more ammo depending on your bag space. Try to look at it that way. Try to get the essentials and only get more, more ammo as you get more bag space. That's really what it is. Think of it that that's the perk. But realistically, if you have a shotgun, you only need 16 shotgun shells. Um, if you can't kill somebody in 16 shotgun shells, then, you know, what are you doing? Or you maybe only carry 120 ammo. Does it feel comfortable for late game? No, but by that point, you should have a better bag. That's a nice shot by that guy. GG Richie. 
Oof. Can you read your previous message? Of course, man. No, I have 144 laps, so I have no free or G-Sync. I have minor screen tearing and very center screen tearing, so I have to fix. Um, if your FPS is too low, then you might experience screen tearing. If you're on a laptop, I would plug up a different monitor. Your laptops usually suffer from screen tearing in general, unless you turn on V-Sync or something. Try to like, like get a different monitor. And don't use a laptop one. Oh, do I have Nightbot on? Has he been on today? Let's see, let me try to have him join chat. Hold on. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the channel. It helps support. Uh, I'm logging right now. I'm adding a Nightbot. Sorry about that. I didn't realize Nightbot left the channel. Okay, he's in the channel. You should be able to do sense again. And he should appear in a minute. But thank you guys so much for hanging out in the stream today. I hope everyone's doing well. Pretty good stream so far. We're just vibing. We're doing... Uh, do you guys have a recommendation in terms of Legend? I know last week it was, I just was hard stuck wanting to play Watson, but I've been taking recommendations in terms of Legends and kind of talking through, you know, how you play them. Thought process when you're getting into fight and engagement. Do you have any ideas to decrease input lag when using V-Sync? You, you're just going to, unfortunately, when you have V-Sync on, you're, you're going to suffer from latency issues. That's the downside of V-Sync. What? Oh yeah, my, my great question. Hey Ragnar, what's up, man? Let's go over here. Take height. How about this way? Shoot, dude. I screwed up. I got two seconds before they shoot at me. Yeah, there's nothing much I could do. I was stuck with no armor, dude. I made a poor choice in my landing spot. I thought nobody was gonna land there. There's a lot of teams. Oh my god, no, no kidding, there's a lot of teams. Well, two teams are right on top of me right now. I needed to keep running, but I heard somebody on the outside. I was like, well, I think I'm stuck. Just needed to buy time best I could. Nice. He swapped. This guy's got good accuracy, but he has like no movement in terms of his crouch spamming. What other games do you play that are casual apart from Apex? I would not consider Apex much of a casual game. I just play uh, aim trainers and then just Apex currently. Yeah, I mean, if you lock your frame rate, that's going to help. What? <laughs> the guy just threw his tactical right at the thing. That's interesting. Should I have faith in this guy? Do you think you can do it? I mean, he's kind of playing a smart for now. He's got a massive out, which is, you know, the best situation he can be in, to be quite honest. He did throw his Q so people know where he's at. He's definitely nervous. He needs to chill. He's just hopping in and wall bounce, get a different angle. I don't know. They're going to find you. They found you, dude. There you go. See, he's, when you when you use a fry, you can fry. For some reason, he's acting like he's scared. He shouldn't be scared. Swap, 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 swap. Nice. I think he's on controller. Does would you ever test on? Would you ever do a test on practicing aim trainer with your left? It's not a bad idea. Not beneficial if you're focusing on your right hand though. I mean, it's not a bad idea to test early on to see if you're more left-hand dominant, right-hand dominant. My banner timed out. I guess I should back out. Kind of curious how this guy's going to do. This guy's shot's crazy, but his movement just isn't there. It's kind of confusing. Is he on controller?
What is this? This this guy's aim. This guy's so weird. His aim is kind of crazy. Like he, I saw him miss maybe one or two shots in the spray there, but he wasn't missing. I wonder what other games he's played. He has like absolutely no movement, but he has aim. That's kind of crazy. You, I mean, you guys saw that, right, chat? It's crazy. That's why I kept watching. I was like, this is so strange. Like when he had the guy against the wall, like, I don't know. It was weird. So what's VSync option should I keep in game and NVIDIA? I mean, I know you're sensitive screen tearing. I don't have VSync on. I would, I have never utilized VSync ever. When in a 1v2 situation, would you hold out a Mastiff or R301 Mastiff? And then try to clean up with the R31 afterwards. Oh, let's do lock. Is the G Pro Super Light worth it? It's very expensive and hard to get right now. I actually re reverted back to the regular G Pro. Looks as I was scoring higher this past week with it, which I found really strange. I might switch back to the Super Light, but I'm giving the G Pro uh, another shot. Yeah, spend time. It, it, if you feel more comfortable with the left hand rather than light, I'd say do it. It may take you a little while. While sometimes you have to take a step back for your for you to take a step forward. You know. Um, I definitely can next stream. The current stream, uh, I need to get up and move it around and stuff like that. Shoot. Massive, massive, massive. Oh, wow, I got hit. That sucks. Sometimes my camera position gets a little messed up because I use it for recording. Um, I've just never used V-Sync before. I've always had it off. That's what I was just trying to say. I was always prefer to deal with tearing than to deal with input lag. And for me, it was always noticeable. About 100% GPU thing. Um, I think I was answering something else. Did we also say with the G Pro costs less decent weight to go left and right, you know? I mean, it's not bad. How many, how many hours should you aim train a day, depending on what keeps you most engaged? Jelly has a great response. How do you not get bored of aim training in 10 minutes? Music, chilling, vibing, escaping. I don't know. Usually the best way. It, it's good if you can just find it as like escape to relax, to, to, to vibe out, you know? Okay, so if you can reach 140 frames at all time, your GPU won't be utilized 100%. Yeah, naturally, which is what you're looking for because yeah, what Mike was saying, yep. Yeah. <sighs> We're gonna drop hot. We might die, but we'll have fun. That's the idea, we'll have fun. It doesn't matter if we die. The most fun is when we get into crazy firefights and we constantly have to battle our way out. When we have like crazy moments, high IQ plays in the moment, those are fun. Bro. Oh, I didn't bounce off the way I wanted to. 
Any tips for being slow in aim trainers? Drop your accuracy and find the equilibrium between being accurate and being fast. I know it sucks to see a lower accuracy number, but obviously you can sh you know, like imagine this. Imagine you're an aim trainer right now. Hold on, actually, is there a 3x over here? I thought I saw a 3x. Anyways, let's imagine you wanted to hit uh, these these points like boom, 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 right? You could do it slow and be 100% accurate, or you can speed it up and be less accurate, but you know, be faster. You want to create a flow. So if you want to go, you'll find a rhythm at some point and you'll get better and improve. You know, that's the idea behind it. You're going to lower your accuracy. You're going to drop an accuracy. But in time, you'll find a flow. Hey, I appreciate it, Mike. Yeah, I, I'm playing old Super NES songs. Oh, that blue. I dare you try to take my battery. Hey, what's up, Toby? It's good to see you, man. What's up? Good old Toby, the social media intern. Now, let not an intern? Oh, yeah, he's right. Okay, buddy. Shoot, dude. Wow, that's that's greedy. I'm doing pretty good, Toby. Doing good, man. Real quick, again, for all of you guys who are on the channel, don't forget to leave a like as it helps support the channel. Helps people find and discover the stream. Helps grow the YouTube, you know, all that fun stuff. Nice aim, I know, right? Totally through on that. I mean, sometimes you just gotta throw, you know? Best way to learn is by throwing. Oof. Boom, 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 boom. Toby, ever played uh, Apex? Oh, the audio breaks. I forgot. Take an off angle. Bro. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I was gonna press my Q right after I timed it poorly. All right, well, I hard through this round. This guy's got it. I believe in him. I'm surprised he got away with that. All right, all right. We'll give the next one. That one was all me. I went up there. I knew they were right there. I was hoping it would land better master shots, but that guy fried me around the corner. It's predictable, but it happens. I think Apex has its own triple buffering option. I think it does, yeah. Is R3 on a P2020 with hammer point a good loadout? Not really, no. The, the issue, the, the P2020 is, is fun, but you really struggle in terms of like, what you overall benefit from from the gun. It's it's good for pubs, it's good for fun. If you're trying to have fun. It suffers in the higher tiers. What are your expectations of season eight? Just keep enhancing things, don't break the game. You know, try not to. I'm worried about. I'm worried about Fuse and how he's going to play. Hopefully, he's not too overpowered, especially with explosives. You know, you know Hunter 2077. No, I mean you could tell me. Let me know who who Hunter is. I started watching Hunter X Hunter. Does that count? Hey, Hunter 
Yeah, yeah, I can show the triple. It's under a uh, yeah, triple buff buffered. But I have have it disabled, have it off. Hunter2077 was in your game. Oh, nice. Is he a YouTuber, Twitch streamer? Just a good dude? King's Candy still a rotation? I don't think it is at the moment. I think it's going to be in rotation for probably the next season. Did they say that the... Yeah, I mean, in the trailer, we see King's Canyon, so I assume it's going to come back. What's the deal with Truffle Belfort? Somebody had a question about it. I would recommend always turning anything V-Sync, buffering, anything like that, that it creates latency off. That's my biggest recommendation. Let's get back in there. Started off decently on that. It'll be King's Cannon obliterated because he's broke it. I wonder how this build is going to be. Yo, what's up, MTL? What's up, man? Welcome back to stream. Welcome back to the channel, dude. Exactly Died a little early the last two rounds. Let's get a good one in. We've had some good uh, good games already. Kind of had some unfortunate positioning, really. Your you got room there for members of the YouTube channel? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, no worries, man. I appreciate being here. Glad we could help. Make sure low latency is ultra since your GPU. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we might run into deja vu here. Mike, I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much for helping him and uh, helping us in the channel. I appreciate that, dude. It's epic. No guns. Shoot, I'm gonna die. Rip, dude. Why didn't you stream on Twitch? I did for three years. Yes, sir. Rules first. I went full aggro there. Ooh. <laughs> Feels bad for that guy. Oh, I want the self revive. Please let me pick it up. GG. Should I turn triple in game or in video or both? I still stand by my statement that it's better to turn it off, but based on what Mike was recommending, you can go with Mike's recommendation. I think he did a really great job explaining everything for you. Who's best for passive slash stealth and comp? 
The best comp right now, and that may change based on what we see coming up, is Wraith, Bloodhound, and Gibraltar. I wouldn't say it's stealth, you know? Yo, Nightfox, thank you so much for the thousand yen. I appreciate you. Thank you for your videos. They're so helpful. I struggle to get back to plat before each split. It just goes too slow. I don't remember Silver and Gold always being sweaty. Any advice? I would focus on your positioning. I know I know I preach that a lot, but I would focus first on positioning first and foremost. And the issue is that lobbies are getting a lot sweatier, especially towards the end of the season. The lower tier lobbies are a lot sweatier than the higher tier lobbies in some aspects. Because you got to imagine that everyone who's been playing up until the season, like d just depending on the time that you start the season, is when it's going to be most sweaty. At the very start, when everyone kind of de-ranks, when the, all the Predators and Masters go up, then everyone starts to move up and starts to kind of settle out. Does that make sense? And then it'll get either harder or easier, depending. I would say at the very start, it's a little easier to rank up than later, just because people kind of settle into their ranks, you know? I appreciate you, Mike. Thank you so much, dude. Go here. Should I hit fire more? ADS in close fights. Depends. Depends on your gun. If you have a Spitfire, uh, it's probably best to hit fire it because you have faster movement. If you have an R99, you can definitely ADS, but you know you have the option. You have, it's, there's options there, you know. Take your time. Record your gameplay, man. Uh, record your gameplay. I know your question is how do you get better and see where, where you made the mistake. Were you caught out in the open? Did they cap, catch you out? It's going to be your biggest uh, telltale on what went wrong. I need a weapon. Have to finish him for ammo. Oh god. Oh, well, that works. The team didn't push up. Push in a second. Mouse cam? I can definitely start putting one back in. I used to run a mouse cam a lot. I forgot to grab, grab a helmet. Oh my gosh, there we go. Gotcha. Who's the most useful legend Apex? Wraith. For utility for comp, her ports are just too good. I have a lot, but I'm gonna drop what I got. I mean, not the best to push this, but we'll do it anyways. One more minute, amigo. Rings right there. So close. Get ready. It's zip line. Reloading. I don't know, man. Rings are too far. 45 left. Using grapple. A little low on ammo. Bounce around. The ring's close. Ten seconds. Dum, 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 dum. 
Can you tell why I use 16 by 10? Because I raise my FOV to max and to make the targets uh, appear bigger, they look a little thicker. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed those two shots. Nice, thank you. Literally had no ammo. I was like, I had to reload the longbow or I had to go find ammo real quick, which I thought I saw some, which is good. Dum, 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 dum. Is it good triple take R99? Yeah. Definitely a good weapon choice. Good balance because one's a, a, pretty much a shotgun and the other is a... Uh... have shields? Yeah, yeah. Is here. Mm. Oh, this is not good. Him. Nice. As well. Way too much uh, energy cells. I will make that work. Bit rates? Um, at 7k bit rate. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Not good. Zero 1.5 kills with a bow. You mean longbow? Okay, he's not going for it. Alright. Waste of time. Good shot there. That was clean. Be a four bow? Oh shoot, hold on.
That's like three teams here. Oh, shoot. Okay. Lock the door. Okay, we're shooting. That's fine. Come on, man. Oh, jeez. Got shot from like everywhere, dude. That sucks. <laughs> was frying though. It wasn't bad. I was going to hope to kind of just keep swapping, swapping, swapping at the bottom, but I got hit from so many different angles. It's crazy. How do you avoid tilt? Just, you know, I'm out. Good streams, man. Thank you so much, dude. I'll talk to you soon, all right? Uh, the biggest thing is just remember to have fun. I know that sounds so cheesy, but you got to remember if you're going to get better, you have to really be passionate and enjoy what you're doing. Passion can also be being tilted, but just kind of turn that energy into something else, you know? Yeah, I had decent in. That wasn't bad. GG, GG. Not bad. Not bad, man. Yeah, don't expect to win. Focus on improving. Will PK be in the floor loot in your opinion? Probably not. They focus so much around balancing the Mastiff around the game best they can, so I, I highly doubt it. Very doubtful. I bet money that they won't. Do you use 16 by 10? Yeah, yeah, I definitely do. Cranston channel, high quality content is my favorite. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate you for being here and supporting. And for those that want to support the channel, don't forget to leave a like and comment. Every, every little bit helps. All right, let's do this. Wait, so what? How much money of what? 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 What happened? Night Fox, thank you again, buddy. I appreciate you, dude. I have that skin. It's such a good skin. Business is my pleasure. Oh, I had bet money. <laughs> yeah, I have, like the the memory of a goldfish. Apparently, um, I bet five hundred thousand. Not even kidding, 100%. I, I bet that much. Five hundred k. Easy. That's how confident that I, that it's not going to be floor ground loot. It'll the sensitivity will quote unquote appear different, but your inch per three sixty is not. So your sensitivity is the same. It may f look different, man. Nobody dropped here? That's confusing. <laughs> Usually this is extremely hot. I think you made 500k pesos. <laughs> what did you put on the Pred Cheaters? I'm actually 
shocked how many there are, to be honest. And disappointed. And they all deserve to be banned. I've said this many times, but I can't wait until, like, cheaters are... Until it has our, you know, real-life repercussions for cheating. I look forward to, to that day. Where if you cheat in a video game, it actually follows your trail in person. You know? Like, people know that you're a cheater. Because you can't go do sports and then keep stimming up on steroids and competing in tournaments. You know? Like, that that's not socially acceptable, so it shouldn't be socially acceptable in a video game. You know? Because there's still money on the line. There's stuff at stake. You know? If it ruins an economy and it ruins things, it shouldn't be allowed. So we can get some armor swaps here. Then I'm gonna bounce up. Nope, none. That sucks. What about this? Blue armor, blue armor, blue armor, no whammy. <sighs> sucks. Going up. Oh, they ran. Pushing up. Oh, it actually picked me up right after. Can't hit Jack. Do you have vehicles in BF4? Uh, I guess. I'd be surprised. I can't hit anything with this right now for some reason. No more shooting. Jack. Who's Jack? Let's try and get this guy. There he is. There we go. Jeez. Who's Jack and why can't you hit him? I have no idea. But can you hit Cossack? I mean, he's bigger. I hate the digi threat scope. I just need more time with it to get used to it. More light. Hey, Uriel, thank you so much for the $2 donation. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the stream, dude. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Did they take the thing? Yeah, they did. Wow. Hey, Kilimanjaro, what's up, dude? Kilimanjaro. Double kill. Triple kill. I can get a hero next level. I go up. I have low, but accidentally bought. And that's it. Who do you suggest? I originally thought Octane, but you might change my opinion. I mean, Octane's fun. I mean, that's why I'm playing it right now. We we're just talking about it. Energy ammo here. Energy ammo here. Big energy. What was that wall bounce? There we go. Oh, hello. Behind us. There's someone here. Okay. Move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. Hey, an additional two dollars. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, supporting the stream. This is when you jump pad in. Oh, what the heck? 
Jesus. I thought he was further down. It's crazy. Wraith or Octane? Uh, I'll go with Wraith because it's kind of the OG, kind of the original, you know? Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right, by the way. Thank you so much for a total of $4, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. I don't need any more loot. I'm just looting for the sake of it. We're shooting quite a bit, so wouldn't be surprised if another team rolled up on us. Kind of appeared. Thank you again, seriously, for all... Like, the last video that we uploaded is doing really well. If you haven't checked it out, I'm actually really happy how that video turned out. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. Boji Poji? Nice. You know what's crazy? For the longest time, I had no idea that this wall bounce was the the one where you do like directly at the wall and you kind of do a quick tap strafe or a quick tap and then wall bounce was uh was harder to do for the for the longest time. I just started doing it one day and I can't do it at all right now for some reason. There we go. Right for pegging. But like that wall bounce, like running alongside the wall, was more difficult. I didn't know that for the longest time. Fun. Love wall bouncing in this game. I gotta catch up. I thought so too, Night Fox, honestly. Than the regular wall bounce. But I had people in the comments saying otherwise, and maybe we're just weird, man. <laughs> A lot of damage, big damage. Team is kind of smart. Bro, I shouldn't have zoomed out. Oh, shoot. Hello. Okay, I got my teammate near me. Massive. Woo. Got lucky. Nah, she left. She gone, bro. Opinion on Valorant? I think it's a great game. I think it's gonna. It's obviously holding up. Light. There's light. What about the? Yeah, honestly, after the two shots, because there's two people there, I had to disengage from the encounter. It's the same thing with a massive. If somebody's with a massive, which is why I said I got lucky. Honestly, if he landed just a slightly better shot, I would have died. Massive is just too good, you know? I saw him for a second. Setting up shop. 
Do I need to do tracking tasks for Valorant? There was a video that I put out yesterday that's really good for Valorant. I, I think it's good for any game, honestly, in terms of building muscle control. Muscle control is really key, and I was going back and forth with somebody in the comment section about it. Like, I, I know that obviously Apex requires more tracking, but it's just so vital having good mouse control. I am losing so many kills. I'm gonna have so much damage and like no kills. Like I've done a lot of damage. I only have two kills. Feels bad. Hold on one second. I'll answer your questions. Let me just uh, push up on this fight real quick. Hold on, hold on. Nice zip. I'm here. Auto many nades. Medkit, medkit, maybe. Let's see here. Medkit, nice. Got a mass of him dead. Oh. Even if I land every shot, it doesn't matter. Mastiff. GG. GG. Catch up a chat. I can never B hops while medding is why. That, that takes a lot of time. When you med, you slow down and you have to keep your movement left and right consistently to keep momentum. And you're gonna slow down and you're gonna hit a brick wall and you need to use hills to kind of help you help with that. If you're going uphill, you instantly slow down. It'd be a four is whenever I first started, really. Oh, did I skip it? I don't even see how much damage rip. Hemlock is OP, but I can't find a shot safer for me to pick up Flatty. Should I practice Hemlock? The Mastiff dude is gonna beat both those guns, real realistically. Like the minute he pushed up with the Mastiff, that's why I said I'm dead. Like I, even if I land all my shots, like I, I was landing all of them, but I'm gonna die. Do you think 1.6 to 400 DPI, 1.3 ADS is a low sense? If you feel comfortable with it, there's no such thing as a low sensitivity. Gotta think of it that way. Yeah, it's just, there's some guns in certain situations that, you know, you're going to really struggle with. Not that you personally are going to struggle with it, but it's just, you're not going to win the encounter if the other person is of equal skill level. Introducing your champion. Hey, thank you, Carmella. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, buddy. We drop hot or save? Let's drop hot. This is boring. I'm going also, guys, yeah, don't forget to leave a like. Helps people find the stream. We're already at 70. Let's even get by 80 by the end of the stream. We still got about two hours. It's crazy. Let's, let's go.
GG And they armored the heck out of me dude My name is King by the way What's up King? See, I mean, we'll see if I can win. Right now, I don't even have teammates. Loaded in with only two, but we won our fight, which is good. I'm going to go for another fight. Let's see. Boom. Boom. Get the shots. We can show up to this in third party. I think that guy was self-reviving, so I shot at him. I got a swap over here just in case. Okay, I'll re-engage in a minute. I subbed to your videos and got Kovacs, then got one got Kovacs three weeks that helped me so much. I'm glad, man. Which video did you watch recently? Q. I'm at such a disadvantage here, it's crazy. for them to fall. Oh, I think they're fighting. Let's 
go up top, reposition. Hey, the tactician, what's up, man? What's up, dude? We're doing well. Now you're fine, man. I started late today. I actually am working on a pretty big project. Um, that's kind of why I started late. Where's your buddy? Should have self revived this one. Come on, you know, for me for a year now. Just call me TAC. All right, we'll do. <laughs> Appreciate tank. Want to give us some leaks? I can't. I can't, dude. But I promise you in a week I'll have a lot of uploads. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Dude, that sucks. Whole team here. Oh. I was not ready. I was, and I screwed up the door. I didn't close it right. I did a lot of damage. It's good. GG. I was by myself. Poor me. There's no leaks. No leaks here. No leaks, sirs. All right, let's get back in there. Come on. Okay. Okay. That was good though. I mean, did the best we could and what we had given to us. I had a feel, I mean, I don't know why the team was edging and, you know. Any leaks, Daz? No leaks. No leaks, none. But you'll be excited. Daz, I do have lots of aim related questions. Hit me up, man. Let's do it. Let's, let's knock them out. Let's do it, Betty. Remember, you're a member of the channel, so if you want to hop in Discord, we can talk over Discord or we'll, we'll play if you want to hop in. Uh, prioritizing uh, members, MTL. Members, members. You want to hop in game? Uh, Got to become a member of the YouTube channel. Oh, wow. We got a Pred on our team. Let's go. Works. What map, mousepad, do you think has the best material? Hmm, that's tough, dude. I own like 14, 15 of them, and I still switch between depending on the mouse and the goal. Right now, I'm using the Artisan Hind, though, with the uh, regular G Pro. Hey, Night Fox, thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel, dude. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Night Fox, uh, Tack, you guys are more than welcome to hop into the game. Let's see here. Let's see here. Shoot. Let's switch that. There we go. Nice, poor Horizon. Push. Alright, no worries, Night Fox. I appreciate you, buddy. 
I do normally stream a lot earlier, quote unquote, I guess earlier, just subjective depending on your time zone. Uh, to answer your question, MTL, because I prefer if people are watching the channel because it helps the channel grow. But if, me if members do support, then obviously, you know, that gets priority in terms of joining the matches. Aim labs, right? Hold on one second. I'm checking it out. Give me a second. Give me a second. There's people all over me first. They're like down below. There they are. more in the tunnel I think no over there on the, on the left hello Hold on, hold on. I got you, Tactician. Give me a second. Give me a second. Promise, buddy. I promise you. I don't know why these fights are getting a little sweaty all of a sudden. I have no shield cells. I trained my aim yesterday. got Kovacs anyways today. Right, hold on. Scroll up. Two seconds. Two seconds. So after we talked yesterday, I made a decision adjustment. I'm adjusting. Definitely came back to Apex. That's good. It's good to hear. As long as you're having fun, man. Also started with aim training since yesterday. Since you experienced, do you prefer Kovacs? I prefer Kovacs. Mostly because it's a lot more, you can get more variety, you know, I have no cells, I really should switch armors. Screw it, I'm just yellowing. Uh, armor swap? Blue? Nope. Armor swap? Yep, I'll take that. No heavy. Got all the energy in the world, though, that's for sure. Okay, I'm here with you guys. Moving up a little bit, taking off angle. All my teammates, to be honest, I think. I need an aid. I need an aid. Uh, I need a backpack. Yeah. Oh, you're good, Night Fox. I just love to have you in game. <laughs> it's not like members only. Whatever. Good meme, right? It's all about the memes. I tried my ABIs yesterday, got Kovacs today. What do you think of them both? What do you think, man? I think, honestly, if you start with uh, if you start with aim labs, it'll give you some better insight. And then when you start using Kovacs, you start to get more refined of what you want to do. Selling. Job. Let's go. Rita. No money, no server was this only fans. Yep. 100% dude. The focus is obviously growing. We, you know, we create guides, we create tutorials. That's the, the highlight. We aim train, we chill, we vibe. If, you know, members, they support and watch the channel, then Obviously, they, you know, they get priority. I want to focus on them. You know, they're, they're helping going the extra mile, especially on the YouTube channel. It makes the biggest difference. But the best way to support is by watching the stream and hanging out. But hopping in game, I mean, you know, it, it, that'll... Unfortunately, then you're not watching the channel. You know, that's kind of how it works. This is the reality. That's just a, being honest. is being brutal. Brutally honest about it.
I've always been pretty upfront about that. If I, you know, don't want to bring people in or if I want to, you know. All my content is free, you know, on YouTube. You watch it, it's, you know, GG's, and that's the literally the focus of it. I have work tomorrow, but I'll definitely get us some games. 100%, man. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, and it, like if people have questions, I'm always going to be more than happy to answer pretty much anything, you know? Best I can. But when you said priority, though, I thought priority queue can join members first. I mean, the reality is MTL is that you've hopped in a lot on a lot of rounds and everything. But, you know, you only support by watching or you combat me or you get mad about stuff and, like, you, you, you push things. And I think it's a little unfair, just being honest. Like, I've let you get in and we've chilled, we've had games and stuff like that, but... It's just kind of the reality, you know? I've gifted you subs. I've actually done the opposite on Twitch. I've, you know, gone, gone above and beyond. We've had good conversations, so... We're just vibing, chilling. Oh, they're all a mile away, dude. My content, I've always very clear. You know, I post guides. We talk about aim training. You push me and say you don't want to watch aim training. Dude, that's that's what that's what I'm built around, man. I mean, you, you kind of disrespect me on the channel as well. When I think something is unfair, I mean, I think you're unfair most of the time, but that's just kind of the reality of it, you know? I think I'm more than uh, fair with people, and I do my best to help support everyone best I can. But the ones that go the extra mile on the channel, I have to, I want to take notice of them. Like, I spend extra time, you know? I don't think you, you treat me fairly equally, to be honest. I don't think you ever really have. You, you put me above too high of a standard, that's super unfair. Ooh, 102. That's crazy, dude. Like, do you go do this with Stodd, you know? Do you do this with, uh, you know, with Necro, you know? Like, that's, I don't know. I know, because, I mean, I, I, he I hear you in his channel, you know what I mean? Like, do you run to Stodd and do that to him? Like, I know Stodd, like, I've chatted with him, so it's like, you, it's really un inconsistent, unfair. But I will give you the time of day, I'll respawn, and I'll, you know, we'll have a conversation. GG, man, GG. At the end of the day, I am a content creator. This is not necessarily my main job, you know? I do it because I love it. My main job is running sore. But obviously, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I gotta get something out of it. For the longest time on this YouTube channel, I've earned absolutely, oh my god, absolutely nothing. Hold on. I'm getting fried. I'm becoming Kentucky Fried Chicken. I can get this bat off. I don't have a bat. Oh my god. I suck. Where's the bat? Where's the bat? It's on the ground. Hold on. I'm being a papega. I'm being a papega. You know, screw it. I'm gonna take the balloon going back into the fight. I spent way too, too much time on that. That was really dumb of me. Got him. Nice, nice. What are these vibes? Now we're just chilling. I don't know. You know, it just if something's on my mind, and I'm just gonna be honest about it. And MTL has been a, a long time viewer, a great supporter. But I, you know, I think it's a little. It, the reality is, and I, you know, I'll be very. Oh shoot! Hold on. Thirty-four damage is not that amazing of a damage. Hold on. Oh, shoot. And it's level two. Come on. Four squads. Give me a second. Give me a second.
Oh, he's so in the zone still. Holy crap. I forgot we were the Predator. I wonder how many kills he's got. He's probably cracked out of his mind right now. I need a little bit of ammo. I barely have any. Hold on. I think you missed a question, does about tension after flicking. Hey, what's up, Carolyn? It's good to see you. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's, I'm glad that you caught that. Tension after flicking. You know the best thing to practice that is to practice hitting static targets on Kovacs. Essentially, you're not. You, think of flicking as that you're bouncing between targets consistently, and you're flicking back and forth, back and forth. Remove the word flick and think of like a feel or a bounce to your aim. Think, think of it that way. That's going to help you probably the most compared to anything else. I promise you. Like, here, here's a great example. Hold on. Let me let me show you. Um, if you're going to hit the different parts of this door. At this door, let's say we look here. Like this. Now, you can flick, right? Flick. Or you can have a flow. Different points, right? You can have an overall flow on how you're shooting. And the flow is going to get you speed. You know? Alright. You know what? It's all good, guys. It's all good. We're just here to chill. Here to vibe. Vibes are still good. But yeah, think of your flicks that way. 100% man, it'll make the biggest difference in terms of your aim. It's also good for you as well, uh, attack, in terms of when you're improving. I know you're talking about aim labs and Kovacs. Don't think of it as flicks. I know it can be clickbait when we call it drag shots and flicks, but think of your aim a little bit more than flicks and think of it more like a flow. There's so many teams here. Gold armor, that sucks. Take my time. Cracked him. Got a bat. I'm gonna stem up and take an off angle. Oh, hello. I gotta push him, I gotta push him. He's gonna heal. Got him, nice. Flanking, flanking, flanking. Got him, nice. Ooh, laser beams. the zone. Let's go. Shoot, 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 shoot. I need two seconds that I can fight. I'm gonna get shot in the back. Now we're good. Team's only in front. Stimming. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that out. Should have used a bat instead. Kind of wasted that. He's going for the flank. Oh, dude. Close the door. I need to get over you. All right. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. GG's, dude. It's a really good one. Really good round. Not bad. I wonder how many kills my teammate did. I guarantee he had a lot. Because I wasn't even kill leader. I think he was probably at 10. I think I ended up at 10. Good round. Yeah, it's good. I'm up to the lobby. Harry, I appreciate you, man. Hopefully that helps answer your question, Harry. Also, Carol, I hope you're doing well. Look forward to our chat tomorrow. See if we can help with your stream. And keep grinding it, you know? I found you recently. Videos are great for noobs, intermediate players. I can tell. What is Pret? Oh, that's, that's the highest rank. Highest rank in Apex. And no, it's not a dumb question. Not a dumb question at all. That's voice is okay. Not that.
Oh no, you're good. <laughs> Dude, tack. No, man. Don't stress. You're good. Bro, you're fine. You're fine. Don't even stress. Let's, let's move on. We're good. I know you had a, I, sorry I didn't get to respond to you in time, by the way. I've been, I, I know I told chat, but I started working on a project late last night and it's going to impact some of my content, which is in a positive way for this coming week. Um, and I can't say any more than that. That's all I can say. Stuff we too much. I missed an artsy session with my emote uh, doodler. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm glad they help. I it's I've really found a passion in terms of making video guides and pretty much everything I learn I usually put that in the videos. You know, I've kind of taken my journey what I'm passionate about. And I just turn it into videos. You know, it's been really kind of the uh, the excitement behind the content that I'm making recently. Is just kind of take you guys on the journey that I that I have, and then if it helps, awesome. And if I guess if it doesn't, well, then hopefully I can learn a bit better, you know. Oh yeah, I'm hyped for the next season. I'm curious how Fuse is gonna balance out. To be honest, I, you know what's crazy? This is the longest I have ever played Octane, ever. Oh, it's Boss Guy who asked me. This no joke, dude. This is the longest. I have ever uh, ever played him. Uh, let me get rid of this. Actually, you know what? I literally can't decide what the heck I wanted to use, dude. It's a good meme. Yeah, you know, I guess that's the problem with the map is that I'm worried that it'll be too small. There's been rumors about a TDM mode, which is really good for people, especially their aim and everything, and just kind of getting comfortable with the game. If they do that, that'll be good. But we'll kind of see. I wanted to learn Gibraltar since I often snipe. You know, you should use his arm shield. His arm shields re really make some great for long range. I know I highlighted that in the guide. I know it's a little long, but. Good. What? Whatever, I'm gonna leave it up. I gotta go back to my teammates. I'm too far away. I'm just gonna end up getting killed here. And boss guy, when you're watching, notice how whenever I'm uh, Octane that I still keep up high mobility and wall bounce for the extra boost, even though I'm stimmed up. And twice, at least 72 in. multiple teams. Oh my god, I can't believe we whiffed. Oh my god, that sucks. Dude. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh my god, that sucks. <laughs> I went inside hoping they weren't there and they were right there around the corner. I was trying to move everywhere. Jeez, dude. He's also built for close range though. Gibby Gibby's just broken. He can kind of do a bit of everything. That's the crazy part. I'm pretty sure it can block a whole Kraby shot still. The devs have talked about how that's a problem, but I'm almost positive still absorbs a whole Kraber shot.
Well, there's a balance between their MTL is that when you're relaxed, that's when you're going to be at your peak in terms of when you game. You want to be what they call kind of a flow state. You don't want to be too laid back to where you get lazy, but you want to be laid back to whenever you can have like hyper focus. It's one of, have you ever been like so entranced by something where all that matters is the game or the task that you're doing? It could be building model cars, Legos, um, studying where you're just so in the moment that nothing else matters. Do you know what I'm talking about? That's the zone you want to be. It's like you're so laid back and you're so relaxed to the point where the world around you disappears. That's the spot you want to be in whenever you're aiming. It's hard. I actually practiced aim lobby yesterday and test out aim. The tutorial was horrible. I know, yeah. But like you predicted, my macro tracking was below average. Yeah. It's usually one of the first things that's uncomfortable. We're throwing, yeah. Daz can be my yoga. Oh, true. I'm the jump master. I wasn't making attention. It's hard to get into that zone, and it's really, and this is why, I, like, with, with pro streamers and everything, that, my bad, I dropped late. I was not paying attention. I apologize. It can be done through meditation. It can be done through breathing. But the same applies to whenever you're aiming. Let it just be known, chat, that this is the longest again that I've ever played Octane. <laughs> I never thought I would play them this him this long, but hey, you know it's good. Micro tracking for mid range. It's because of the movement and the the tracking is smaller for mid range. But that's good that your micro tracking flicking was about ninety percent. Oh, that's good, man. <laughs> Crack one. Reloading. I downed an enemy. I'm going. Oh yeah, I'm pushing you, buddy. Twenty HP. Oh, all those poor kills gone. Rip. Also, whenever you heal, always bunny hop. I can't tell you how many times I see people heal and don't bunny hop. Or just move. Don't stand still ever. Don't ever stand still. Pretend that there's always somebody about to shoot you. And you'll play a lot better. Is not really as good as I thought? I mean, even my aim is not even, even as good as I think. That's the crazy part, man. Yep, on my way. Yeah, I scroll wheel jump. Shoot, I'm gonna make this in time. Got him. Good damage from one guy. I gotta reload. Why am I not reloading? I hit R. Jesus. <laughs> I'm like standing here like a maniac, just running around like a weirdo. I'm not even reloading. I pressed R. I swear to God, I pressed R. Oh my God. Jeez, that sucks. My changing guns is one, two, and three. I don't use scroll wheel to change weapons. I, I don't know. I swear I spammed R. Like I'm standing there waiting and nothing happened. GG. 
GG. GG's man, good game. Yeah, I, I changed weapons 1, 2, 3, and 4. I actually struggle with multiple enemy engagements and quick target switching. I mean, specifically remember I panic when I see more than three enemies. Yeah. That happens. I mean, that happens even with me, you know? My aim gets a little sporadic or not as sharp, you know? That's why I say that, um... Controller wall bouncing and stuff is a lot more difficult. Because you don't have the, be the, the I guess, the luxury of a scroll wheel. Yeah, when you're at a disadvantage, you just have to play a little more patient. Or a lot more patient. The more the more of an advantage the enemy has, the more patient you have to wait to wait for them to make a mistake or go out in the opening. Like if they just kind of blindly walk out in the opening, it's time to laser them, you know? Shoot. Oh my god. Bro, they're everywhere. Crazy! I'm like running around like a maniac with my head cut off. How did I get so unlucky? Oh my gosh! I don't have any guns. I've went every single angle. That's so unlucky. I'll be back. I don't have any guns, no armor, nothing. I got really unlucky. Coming back. I don't have armor, but I have a gun. Oh shoot. Shoot. Darn dude. How long have you played Apex? I pretty much at the start. I didn't take it seriously at the beginning as I was playing uh, Apex as my, or sorry, Battlefield as my main game. But then I started taking Apex a little more seriously, probably around eight months in. And over that you look like an Egyptian actor. That's that's good. Take it. I was an actor and singer. Yeah, there was so many teams. Everywhere I went, the guy I just went downstairs. It's, dude, they were everywhere. Literally everywhere, man. I should have got armor before I went in, but I got the Pathfinder and his friend just you know, showed up out of out of nowhere. Hey, we both woke up today. Not a bad start. Ready, steady, go. Like even when I'm looking at it, what could have I done there, Tack? I could have landed safer. I, whenever I landed, I needed to land better so I can get more to the weapons. And then at the end there, I could have just waited for armor and played more patiently, you know? Yeah, I had been playing Battlefield for a long time. That was my main game. Daz, can random recoil and BFI be controlled in some way? With a higher sensitivity, yeah. This is mostly why you see a lot of high sensitivity on, on Battlefield. Because your idea is just to sporadically control it. This will be fun. Oh, we're a little late. Bruh, it's not good. We're a little late. Wait, I'm the jump master? 
I thought Guac was. The heck? What's up? Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of rank this, but I've masters and pred. Excuse me, before. Yeah, just not this season. I haven't played as much. Mostly been playing uh, pubs and streaming like right now. You know what? Screw it. I'm running, rocking a sentinel. That I saw him. Could have sworn I saw somebody. Against from behind. Oh, he didn't have armor. That sucks. Rip. That sucks. I saw him before an armor swap. So I didn't get one. GG, GG. Um, is your first time streaming here? No, I've been streaming on YouTube for... Uh... How many months? Three or four? This is stream number 15. I stream every Sunday. What was your favorite battlefield? That's tough, man. I feel like a lot of them had a lot of problems. I never really went to one specifically. I mean, able to control a considerable amount naturally, compensating. Feels like luck kicks in. At a distance, yes. It's the problem with Battlefield 5. The random recoil. Can I see your point how much Apex can provide a better platform, a skill ceiling, even just because... Yeah, the fixed recoils make some consistency and you can even handle that recoil at a distance. With Battlefield 5, you can't. You can't practice the recoil. You can for the, like, some of it's kind of the same at the start, but then the recoil at a distance, whenever it's going to sway left and right and the target's really small, it's random. It's random if you're going to land that kill or not, which is frustrating. But the devs purposely made the game to where the engagements are around zero to, like, what was it, 40 meters or something? Ridiculous, but when the maps are all massive, that doesn't make any sense to balance the guns that way. Just my personal thoughts on it. Yeah, there's no reason to use an AR when everything... If you can just spray more bullets and have a higher time to kill, there's no reason to really be accurate except for just control random spray and recoil. You know? Do this. Four? Four for what? Uh, four months, sorry. Like, I think, I mean, this is stream number 15 or 14. I don't, I, don't, I gotta double check the thumbnail. The number of streams we've had on YouTube. I stream every Sunday and I post four videos a week. Nice. Down 
dead. Died. It's not good, GG's. I got one really good no scope on him though. On that one guy. Oh, hey Wraith. What's going on? How you doing? I'm gonna chase you. Race you to the finish line. And beat you there. Did I drop down? I think it'll res me. Oh my god. Should have done it way sooner. He waited too long. He hesitated. If he just popped and then went. It's getting real dark. Battlefield 6 should break the constant cycle of random recall on each battlefield by finally having each recall pattern. I have suggested that many times to the devs. Many, many times. They think they felt like I was crazy or something. How do we improve aim? The basics is hopping in, dropping hot and putting yourself under pressure. The key is to relax. The more you relax, the better your aim is going to be. Because what psychs you out is attention and the freaking out. It's going to help. I'm really struggling to change mouse grip with claw grip to fingertip. My natural one, normal one, gotcha. It makes sense. Fingertip is not necessarily the most natural way to grip, but it provides a lot of speed. I mean, they, they even admitted that, that the random recoil was there to kind of cap the skill ceiling, you know? I mean, anybody can shoot a distance and you may get the kill or not just by just spraying, spraying and praying, you know? What's crazy is I don't have the largest hands and yet fingertip is natural. So, I'm a, I'm in a weird anomaly then. Like Ethos, or Ethos, he's got very large hands. And so he does fingertip grip. This is the only way he can hold the, the darn mouse. I don't know why I gravitate towards fingertip. Plus me armor this time. Plus. There we go. Bless. Bless up. Way longer than it should have. Having armor, buddy, or your battery. The other guy go. You drop? Man. Big height. Did you ever try to get some Warzone games in? I have never. I've played a little bit of Warzone. Maybe a few hours when it first came out. I heard somebody. Oh 
No way. Go res. Not bad. You miss Twitch for live streaming? Honestly, not really. This is kind of weird to say. I streamed there for like three years and I really don't actually miss streaming on Twitch that much. Take a massive. Because I mean, I still engage with all of you. If anything, I've been, I feel like I've been able to be more helpful than ever compared to before where I, maybe I didn't have the video content there or, but like now with focusing more on YouTube, I just feel like I can engage more with everyone or create specific content that you guys request or ask for, you know, I feel like I'm tailoring the content more towards what I've always wanted the channel to become. Here, just want to say a huge fan, great content, highly underrated. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. I hope to continue to get better. That's the goal. Always, always seeking improvement. What's in the thing? Three. We're running around with no helmet. The other day I stuck someone, but it blew up. It wasn't him. I got... Damage for the stick, but the arc star wasn't on him. Then blew up. Is that a server tick rate issue? Wraith issue, I think. Yeah, because the whenever Wraith queues, the arc star just drops to the ground. Yeah, I'm using the hind right now. The artisan I had the hind for such a long time. It's crazy. I looted these fully. It's not just a. Uh, I use 16 by 10. That's what I'm using right now. Just add, just add skill based match. Skill based matchmaking. That's not additive. In, in invadative. If that's how you say it. It's an Apex Legends. I mean, I mean, if they could limit to where if you're really new to the game that you don't play with. You know, you know, servers that are broken. I think skill based matchmaking can be challenging, but sometimes you just don't always want to sweat. You know, Sir Kobe? Yeah, he's no longer a sore though. Should I have added it? Was a Bangalore and Ark ended up on the tree quite a bit behind him? Mm. I don't know. It's good to bait the Ark Star before you stick a Wraith, but at least you got him to use the Q, which is helpful. The extra large glorious, yeah, it's a good mouse pad. I use it for a solid year. I just switched because I wanted something a little bit different in terms of texture. Running out in the open. Have a nade? Yep. Ooh, that's a nice stick. Should be able to get this. Yeah, I would use a longbow over the sentinel. If you're just getting used to the guns, because you have a faster rate of fire. That's why. I need the cells off these bodies, because I have nothing. Half toast, half to roast. Wasting too much time looting, my bad. Okay, let's go. I'm not going to go right around the corner, I'm going to climb this rock for an off angle here. Screwed up. It's 
swapping and I'm pushing. Need your armor, buddy. I'm ready. Who's got the self revive? Do you, huh? It's mine. Heck. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god, I can't wait to miss that, dude. That was so bad. I shouldn't have pushed him. I should have waited. If I was going to whiff my shots, I should have waited. I do have a self revive. Oh, dude, can you res? Oh, let's go, dude. Let's go. Nice. I got lucky on that. Should not be alive. Position. Another team. Come on, come on, come on. Bat, bat, bat. Thirteen, thirteen. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it here. GG GG What sends DPI? 800 DPI one, uh, 800 DPI 1.32 sensitivity Yo, what's up Stefan? I gotta get it busy with BF1 I'm doing well man, I'm doing well Good to see you buddy That's a good round, 8 kills, it's not bad Could have been better Kind of threw one. Are you hyped for season eight? So much content ahead. I'm excited. Hopefully my wallet can handle it. All the amount of skins that they have. Up here. Have you tried the Odin Infinity Hybrid yet? Not yet. No. Uh, Terp, I have not. Heard good things about it, but I haven't tried it. Really recommend play Quake other games. Yes, Quake is a great game. To practice your aim. Issue is I'm facing is I have one mag and opponent, but it's not consistent. Therefore, I need to put myself in a certain straight state every time. What do you mean by that? Do you mean in terms of like positioning and where you're placing yourself? Because you're not always going to one mag an opponent, FYI. Watson. You know, thinking about it, why don't you play games like Dark Souls? like and need fast decision making because I like FPS games. Have you tried? Let's see here. How much you adapt to movement mechanics? It's good to have you here, Stefan. You have a good experience with overclocking? Yeah, I have all my stuff overclocked. Yeah, this is from Apex. They gave me a... Uh, they sent me a package. And the boxing gloves are... Uh, are Apex. See? Apex gloves. Which should go without saying. See? <laughs> okay, put 
those back. I've never seen your channel before. Why was your stream recommended to me? Well, that's a good thing. Holy crap, YouTube algorithm work. Let's go, dude. Love to hear that. What well, content creator is not going to love to hear that? Um, do you like aim training? Do you like Apex? Do you practice your aim? Do you play FPS shooters? Uh, duh. Kind of what we talk about here on the channel. Play with gloves? That's actually... Uh, why not? That'd be hard. I don't know if I can be able to shoot. Shoot. Love it here, love it here, love it here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, you want to come fight me now? Sucks, sucks. Oh, shoot. Sucks to be me. Sucks to be me. I got you. Let me help you. You're obsessed with getting the best aim in Fortnite. Uh, well, on the channel, we talk a lot about Kovacs. We talk a lot about aim labs. I got a huge list of scenarios. Um, I own a dozen mouse pads, man. More than a dozen, actually. But I'm all open for the conversation, dude. What the heck happened to all these bodies? Look at them go. store well, it's good to have you here man i'm glad that you know i got recommended hopefully you enjoy your stay in the channel uh hopefully i can offer some tips and advice with fortnite since you're in third person there's a list of scenarios that i have that are i mean you you want pinpoint accuracy but it's all about target switching mostly in fortnite because you got bloom obviously you know Pega, this thing. Use that to block the door. Hey, that's sick, uh, pack. Oh, shoot. starved man he's got a massive oh that sucks dude use the g pro wireless and the artisan raiden i'm using the artisan hind currently uh and i'm using the g pro i have the g pro super light here but i've been kind of gravitating towards the regular you know g pro oh that wasn't a bad fight it was chaotic but not bad I love the performance I get, but I don't like the jumpiness and my pulling rate on the mouse. I've been trying to figure this out so bad. Uh, what mouse are you using? Okay, I managed to get good CPU overclock. Okay. 
Reaching 1,000 polling rate. Yeah, what mouse are you using, actually? You're using a uh, final mouse? Because if so, it doesn't, you know. Yeah, I mean, good old Johnny, yeah. You pro wireless. What game? Apex? Shouldn't be having that much of an issue. Ground with a glove on your mouse hand. Maybe I'll make that into a YouTube video itself. I don't know how, how you would even, would you just slam your fist on the keyboard and then when you're shooting just like, I don't even know. Dude, I hope so as well, Tack. We'll see what happens. I'm excited for what's to come. Doing test is dropping to lower five nine hundred. Mm, it kind of makes sense, honestly. It, uh, there's been a lot of games that have issues. I know Battlefield will fluctuate between seven hundred pulling to a thousand. That's why some pros stick at five hundred pulling rate. Just FYI, if you're having the issue, I'm definitely having the issue. Then I just haven't tested or looked into it. It's uh, noticeable for some, not noticeable for others. It's why some pros will stick at five hundred pulling. What do you think of the Artisan Shinenkai? I think it's great. It has an amazing glide, but it deteriorates pretty quickly. That's why I don't... I never really used it. Or invested too much into one besides just testing it. After about two or three months, you need a new one. Let's get back in there. Hey Michelle, what's going on? You play one three one, yeah. Except for I have my index and my middle finger on the mouse click. Let's get a dub. Do this. When we're messing around. Let's actually get a dub. We've gotten into some crazy firefights, high kills. Yeah, let's get a dub. Play Watson again. It's a fine line. Avoid death as closely as possible. Break a leg. Mine are made of the steel. best game you suck at is Apex. My I can see it. Is my family. it. Because you scroll with a jump? No. Because I actually click faster with having my fingers this way. Unless you want to main training that I just got really comfortable to do. If I'm clicking compared to this the script. I tense up on my thumb, and I lack dexterity compared to when I do this. My thumb doesn't tense up as much. It's kind of weird. And because of that, I started using toggle to aim compared to hold. It's so I have more control over the mouse. It just kind of started working that way for me. And even as I did that journey, uh, you'll probably see it in my guides and videos. Oh, that you're an enemy. armor. Oh, thank you.
shoot, man. What's your ethnicity? Hispanic. Bro, I came up missing. Nice, good job. I was whiffing hard. I can see you're using it in your most recent video. Yeah. I should not have whiffed those last few triple tick shots. Everything else is pretty much on point. It's pretty solid. Alright. Half the squads are less. Left. Less. Left. Little, little. I have the energy. No energy ammo here. Hey, nice, dude. That's awesome. You know, I actually did, I thought it was Zeke's uh, playlist because that's what somebody put in the comment section. And I just learned that it was actually uh, Pipes. So I'll be sure to put the update in the description for that. That's why when I posted that comment on screen, I thought it was Zeke's. I know that Zeke helped with it, but I didn't, you know, fully know. It's a, it's a great playlist. I'm I mean, I'm surprised I didn't know about it sooner, to be honest. I use the Viper Mini. Okay, hold on one second. I was thinking about getting either the Super Light or the Model O Wireless, but probably the Super Light. Super Light's a great mouse. So is the G Pro. Those are my go tos. No heals, nothing. I need to switch guns if I don't get anything. You think Zeke made it for Pyth? I guess that makes sense. There's some sort of story that I'm just not getting there. Um, I'd love to understand who is the one that made that beast playlist because it's it's so good. I know obviously I should have made a video on it and explained it, but it's really good. Like there's nothing in it it does but it is really good i don't know i started aiming a bit better with the uh dropping this oh shoot what the oh shoot that's theirs oh i, I didn't see the marker bro i thought it was like i thought it was safe oh shoot that's so dumb fov 110 I, I went to the arc star because I thought it was his. I legitimately thought it was his. I would start with aim labs, yeah. Darn, dude. I feel so dumb. It's because I didn't see the marker. Sucks. Come on, come on. No, you should have finished the res. You had it and you got gold back, bro. That sucks, dude. GG. Uh, it's right up above the sensitivity. Do you do aim training for controller? I have not, no. I mean, I used to play controller back in the day when I played Gears and a lot. I screwed that push up so bad.
But yeah, I play it max off of you at 110. I play it stretch res by 16 by 10. Get used to aim labs. Just give it like a day or two and then figure out where you feel like your weaknesses are. Then go to Kovax and then Kovax really drills down into like many different scenarios. Does it make sense? Hey, Kazzy, what's up? Just chilling, just vibing. Good vibes. Good day so far. So we're at 93 likes. Do you think we can get a solid 100? You, can get, you guys think we can get 100 likes on the channel? We're so close. We only need seven more. I think that'll be the fastest we've gotten to 100 likes in a stream, which is really good. I'm the jump master. I the lead the way. Yeah. May the gods bless you. Is Apex Aim Trainer good? Yeah, it's fun. It's pretty, uh, it, it seems very bare bones, but it's pretty in depth, to be honest. Like, it's accurate. He's low. Hit him like, eh, land your shot. There you go. Let's go, dude. Hey, TB, what's up, man? Have a good rest of your day. Happy streaming. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate you. Already at 106? Wait, what the heck? Wow, actually, holy crap, guys. Wow, all right. Well, thank you, guys. Holy crap, that was fast. Thank you guys so much for leaving likes and everything on the channel. I really appreciate it. Got a res, too. You know what's crazy? I don't know, and uh, obviously, you're more of like an aim enthusiast on this, but I keep switching between the hide and the, the artisan zero right now. Right now, I'm specifically been using the Hind because of using the G Pro. Also, I have core pads, and I prefer those on the Hind compared to the FX Zero. I was in the comment section talking to somebody about it. The FX Zero with core pads just feels way too smooth. It was a nice wall bounce. No armor, it's okay. There's a cluster there. I know I like hard flux on the guy by grabbing the massive right in front of him. That was me kind of memeing a bit, I guess. You're using core pads? Nice, dude. I used a stock feet for the super light for the longest time, but then the core pads just really started. I got I used them again and they I really resonate with them, dude. They're so good. Good movement there. 
aim too, not bad. Good positioning. Look at that, look at this guy, go ahead. Clean movement. He should have targeted that lifeline, but that was good. I don't know if you guys saw what he did there, but he used the, the height there, which is pretty smart. Got an off angle. And with this is why skill-based matchmaking, you run into some legit players, man. Are you going to swap off? Nice. Good try. Dude, that was, that was some solid plays by him, honestly. It was good. It's always good to see your teammates do good stuff like that. That's solid. Solid, man. That's why you use speed pads like the Raiden. That makes sense. What Do you know what your inches per 360 or centimeters per 360 is, Dodge? Or Da? Da J? It's also, it could be, it's skill-based matchmaking, you know, when you get a good player or when you don't. Oh, let's get a move on. I shouldn't have swapped to the Masta if I was hard flexing in front of the guy trying to loot as fast as humanly possible. Almost managed to pull something out of it though. As long as I can observe it die. And the reason why, uh, Kaz, you feel more comfortable is because you're... Your stimulus, it's, it, you call it like, just, your, ah, what's the best word to use? Brain teaser, brain stimuli, where you're not just stuck at the same sensitivity, but you're changing things up so you feel more engaged. Sometimes changing things up is good, man. Even just the sensitivity just for the day to practice and then switching right back, you know? You have your sweet spot and as you keep better, keep getting better, Kaz, your sweet spot changes, you know? Hey, buddy B. What about making a video about monitor positioning? Yeah, I can definitely do that. 100%. I'm like blind as a bat, so it's my monitor positioning may not be the best for people. Yeah, I can definitely do one on it. My advice to myself would be wear my glasses. Need armor. Bruh, snow armor. Does the aim have a wingman practice? Also the scenarios for wingman and Kovacs? You have to find a scenario like that will help you. That's why the micro shots help uh tack. The video yesterday that I put out in terms of like micro shots is really helpful in creating like a bounce and a flow for your wingman shots. That's why I feel very confident that they're they are helpful. Dude, shotgun. Hey, look at this. I won. It must be close though. Whenever that is. Don't worry, I'm here. Oh no, my team just didn't do any damage. It was bad. And I had the guy one too. Anyone know when extreme measures for Octane will come back? Gabrielle, it's good to see you. 
Yeah, I got that from there, but like I can a scenario Kovacs also create the little bullet velocity. That's when you need Apex Aim Trainer. But don't worry. Focus on the bare basics and then hop in game. Hop in game is going to be the best practice to really like hone in on the skill. Like think of Kovacs and Aim Trainers that you're stripping away all mechanics and you're just focusing on the bare aspect of aim. Then go hop in game and actually physically practice practice the movement and the shots. Because at that point, you should the bases that you're creating is going to translate in game. That's the goal. I know where we want to be. Follow me. This right. outfit could use some high caliber accessories. Uh, I should probably forget about KD when training in pubs, right? Yeah. I mean, I've died like what, how many times? Or just vibing and getting comfortable. Doesn't pubs really don't really matter much. Just you're hopping in, getting into gunfights, having fun. I could sit here and camp and then go for wins and everything, but that's just not entertaining for me. I'd rather just drop hot and get into some gunfights. We've won rounds. We've done well today. Like the rounds where you got like eight, ten kills and crazy stuffs happening. Though that's more entertaining, you know. If I'm doing rank, then I'll play differently. Yeah, just screw, screw KD, man. Get comfortable. KD is not going to help you get better. Would you rather have really good aim and get comfortable in gunfights or a really good KD? I like there's another team here. I thought I heard footsteps. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of weird. Uh, I've It's because everyone I used to play with always played uh, Wraith and everything that I just kind of got stuck. There's a guy here, I swear. I am listening to music and stuff, but it sounds like somebody's in, in this building. Whatever, maybe not. We got two snipers, lol. They're over in... Uh, What's that called? Hammond Labs. Let me screw it. I'll get an R9. Warzone, I mean, it's a very poor judgment of skill KD. It doesn't doesn't matter. Don't focus on KD. Focus on improving. All right, I'm going in. door too. And I got the heals going. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Crap. Hold on, I need to heal. 
All right, let's go. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my god. Darn it. Too many nades. It sucks. Good fight, though. This guy's dead. He's literally one. A swap. Alright, two Gs. That was a good fight. Maybe those nades. Ugh, I thought it's not, it looked like they were in the building. Any thoughts for Maine Watson? Positioning and don't be afraid to use your fences. Like you saw there, you know, kind of create some tension, some pressure, you know, kind of get them to box in where you want to, where you want to go. I've been messing around with the multipliers a bit more recently. I'm actually messing with them right now. Kind of honing in on it. So there's really not a right or wrong answer for it that I have currently. Play to Revenant. All right. All right. I'm probably gonna make this one my last round. So let's uh, let's make it a good one. Even that round, honestly, was pretty good. That uh, spray on that poor Wraith that just came in and then instantly got one tap with the Sentinel right after. That was, that was good. When you joined Soar a little over two years ago, uh, I helped run the team. I work with uh, Crude and Mac and a lot of this, is, everything that pretty much goes on with Soar, I'm pretty much involved with, whether it's the sponsors, talent, all that stuff. Recruitment. Onboarding, offboarding. It's my day job. That's what I do. It's kind of weird. I still think about it. It's my day job. I don't know. It's kind of weird, man. Rip. All right, we got to do one more because that's not going out with a bang. Unless this guy. I mean, he might. He's gonna clutch it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I see you. I had a Hemi and armor. Oof. Thank you. Hey, Oscar, what's up, man? another one Fight, hold on. I spotted an enemy. Oh, it's a mirage, dude.
Nice. Go with the two, one by twos. Hey, Starlight, what's up, man? I've actually been getting into Titanfall 2 recently. That's awesome. I started to start with Kraber. I actually have 300 hours in Titanfall 2 myself. I enjoyed the single player aspect of it. The only reason I didn't play more is because Battlefield 1 was out at the time. Only reason, man. Good round so far. Not bad. You run Volpit. Well, do you run Voltaic benchmarks? If so, what rank? I just hit Masters. Currently, Master rank. And yes, I put videos out on them. Ooh, poor guy. That was a really crappy wall bounce. Nice. Not bad. Guys, is the Excel sheet breaking down your aim still accurate regarding scope multipliers? Um... It's a little dated. It's pretty close. I just made these some of these changes in the last few weeks though, you know? But it's pretty close, man. I might put a more in-depth guide about it soon once I kind of break it down, but I'm kind of experimenting even as we speak. With a multiplier, I do have some multiplier changes. They're a little different than what I... Oh my god, I should get a nade. Um... There's the shots. They are probably in turbine. You share next time. 100%, man. 100%. 2D5? Oh, you mean where they're at? Yeah, yeah. I think they're in turbine. They're using like ammo count. me running to automatics I really need like a massive or something to help clean up I really have to take mid-range if I go close range against a massive I'm pretty much dead One Wraith went to the left, got fried, and the other team's on the right. Oh, let's go. Yeah, we have a Revenant. It's nice whenever they use their ults. Let's 
to push back in in two seconds. Also, the new character. I'll see whenever we try him out. Can't really say until I give him a solid go, you know? What the heck? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. My man running. Oh, you're looking at the angles thinking he's going to hard hold an angle. And there's a shotgun. I'm taking that. It's mine. Hi. That's why I was so curious why you 2.2. It's because it matches the sensitivity, the hip fire. It, the FOV is, you got to think of FOV like an illusion, you know, like it's, it's impactful, but it's not that big of a difference. All it is, your sensitivity is the same. You're just changing the lens on the camera. That's it. If you think of it that way, it becomes less uh, overwhelming. I just hope Fuse is balanced and fun. I wonder if he doubled back. Yeah, it feels fast because the camera lens is more zoomed in. I say camera lens just because it's the most relatable thing to kind of re reference, you know what I mean? To kind of talk about it. I don't know. I don't know where they're at. Are you still able to adapt to it? 100%. 100%. Just think about doing a Kovacs or aim lab scenario and then changing the FOV. Like, go, go practice that right now, actually. If you were in aim labs right now and do it at 120 FOV and then do 90 FOV and then try to hit those targets, realize that the movement is still the exact same. The movement doesn't change, just the, the camera. Zoom in, you know? I'm so confused where these teams are. Oh, hi. What's up, Funk Metal? What's up, man? Welcome back, dude. There we go. There's a Batman. Seem to hit him at that angle. Shoot, that's not good. Oh, that's the octane. Okay. gonna get sandwiched if we're not careful.
Try not to get greedy on this. I really want to push it. There we go. Thank you so much for that. That's exactly what I needed. Repush. Can't believe I missed some of those shots though. Oh, that's the last guy. Alright, let's go. We got this. There we go, a good one to end on too. Killed Mr. Goofy. GG, GG. Let's catch up with chat real quick and let's wrap up. You are the Apex Champions. I'm gonna clarify. Sorry, I got a little, a little hectic there. Yeah, all visual but definitely feels fast, although it's technically the same. What about mouse DPI? Do you think higher is better? Mm, not really, it depends. I know 2k could be the sweet spot, but keep in mind that it depends on the mouse pad and the surface. Rocket Jump Ninja is very knowledgeable though. He knows what he's talking about. Matching 3x makes sense. I actually did the calculation. You don't want to go match it too high. Just the balancing act, you know? And kills, not bad. You just drive to Chicago today from the Indianapolis to pick up Micro Center. This is the only part that confuses me in that vid. Why do you say matching 360 after 3x doesn't make sense? Because it's too fast to control. Because then it just becomes so overwhelming. Is it possible to play Watson aggressively? Yeah, you just start fencing up and like closing people in. Um, I just was playing her kind of aggro, kind of not. You know, there's certain areas that I just can't push because I know I'm just going to lose and not win the fight, you know? From Mexico and I wanted to PvP against you, you accept. I'm actually wrapping up the stream, buddy. Wrapping up here, like now. That was my last round, I mentioned that 20, 25 minutes ago. Uh, but that was, no, that was a good round. That was, that's the, I think this is the round where we started and I died right off the rip, but then got a res and we made a ma major comeback. So that's good. Good round, not too bad. All right, guys. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed the stream. I'm going to be back again next Sunday. Don't forget to leave a like on the videos. Going to have more coming um, throughout the week. Uh, talking about a lot more. But yesterday's video has already gotten a lot of views. So definitely check that video out. I'm going to put it in the uh, comment section here as we're wrapping up. I think you guys should definitely check out the video. It's really, really solid. And it's already getting a lot of views. So while I'm wrapping in the stream need to check out the video. When we're talking about aim training, scenarios, everything like that, I think it's very, very helpful. So I'm going to link it there uh, as we wrap up, and I definitely recommend checking it out. I'm at... S oh, there we go, yeah. Just one last question. Of course. Of course, man. There we go. Can you snipe with a 2x multiplier set to 2.2? Yeah. Of course. That's what I use uh, currently. Well, not sniper. I use a 2x on it. Um, right now, I'm kind of changing it. That I did before. You watched it before stream. Let's go, dude. Appreciate it. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Well, I'm gonna wrap up for the uh, for today, and I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye, everybody. We'll talk soon, everybody.